So one of the things you may notice is that when you downloaded these files for this week, we have this chld funds.htm. And one of the things we can actually do inside of Excel is we can import, we can grab external data from the web. The web. It's basically from a web page. So how we can do that, and this is where it gets a little wonky, is we're actually going to grab it from this file that we've downloaded. So how do I do this? Well, if I come over to from web, this is going to pull up a miniature browser inside of Excel. I could actually surf the internet from here if I wanted to. As you can see, I can log in and do everything I need to. So all of a sudden, I need to figure out how do I get to this guy right here. Well, one of the things I need to do is I need to find the file path. Wherever I downloaded this, wherever I have this file on my computer, is where I need to point this address bar to right here. So the way I can do this quick and easy is I've downloaded this. I know it's on my desktop, but what's the file path to my desktop? Up here on the Windows Explorer, I can actually click on this white bar, and that's going to give me my entire file path. Notice it's C users A Guida 036 desktop tutorial 11. I want to take this. I want to copy this information because that information is what I want to then in turn paste here. Now I'm not done just yet because that just gives me the folder that the file is in. Again, I need to display that file. So what I can come in here and do is I can hit slash chld funds dot htm. Let me just double check the file name on that. Uh, funds htm. And when I hit enter, what do you know? That html file, that htm file that I have is now being shown through Excel. And then one of the luxuries is I can take this information and because of how this html is built, just to kind of take a look at that for a second, on the back end side of things. This is what the way the website looks like. Notice everything in here has a nice little keyword called a table. So suddenly this category, it looks like this, but all this stuff is being stored in a table just in this HTML style code. So suddenly what I can do is I can come in here and Excel knows when it sees that table code, you can even see, I can click and highlight what I want to bring in to now Excel. As soon as I hit import, just where do I want it? As soon as I hit OK, notice all the information that was being brought in from that HTML is now fully imported.